Oh, how close can that be? <laughs> is that out? Got to run out. Okay. And if it is so, well, you couldn't have asked for a Don't worse way of getting out. Front foot and then your best side angle, please. Oh, about front foot. Yeah, go, can we go front foot first, please? Oh, sorry, 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 it's a run out. Sorry, my fault, my fault. Yeah, he's out. I'm going to load out. Definitely touch the ball. Load out. So he's on his way. Dalong Long was worried about the front foot, but it doesn't really matter if it's a no ball. You can still be run out. And South Africa have got the nice start. Comes through a bit of an unusual method. They probably wouldn't have been thinking about this plan, but it worked an absolute charm. Just trying to grab the ball on his follow through. Kahisa, he knocks it on, comes off the side of the hand, backing up too far. The silver has to be on his way. Edge, gone. Dikwala walks. Good delivery. Kahisa Rabar has been excellent in this test match. It hasn't been a helpful surface. But he's got this knack of picking up wickets from around the wicket. Got this one in the right spot. It was a good line, a good length. Just bounced a little bit, moved away from Dick Willer. And a comfortable catch for Quinton de Kock. Oh, that's a big one. He's left that alone and he did come back from Rabada. 150 at test wicket. Kakiso Rabada. No shot offered. And hence, where it made him uh, contact, point of impact, does not matter. Rabada strikes again. This time Pereira thinking the ball's going to go away. It comes back into him. And you're always in trouble if you don't offer a shot that nip back a long way. So good delivery. Top shot. Oh, it's gone all the way, two for six. A fantastic strike. It's as good as a shot as you'll see. Gives himself a little bit of room, opens up the stumps, takes it off, off stump, smashes it over deep extra cover, brings up the 150 for Sri Lanka. And you get the feeling that if he gets an opportunity, he's going to try and score off the spin of uh, Maharaj. Bowl him, threw him, gone for the slog sweep, no success that time. And happiness for Maharaj as he gets number four. Yeah, good for Maharaj. The field that was set for him, he had some support on the offside, two men back and a man at long on. There was no one back at deep mid wicket, so it was always the option. Matthews maybe might try and employ it. Just drifts in, pitches on middle stump. Maybe keeps a little bit lower than Matthews was expecting, but it cannons into the middle stump, and Maharaj has his fourth. It's an important wicket, too. It was the man that was set, was Matthews on 35. Sri Lanka now 1 5 6 for 8. Shot. Beautiful shot. Well struck, and it'll go all the way for four. That's the fastest part of the outfit, isn't it? If you can smash it onto the advertising carpet. It's at least 10 or 15 meters of real speed, but it's nicely played. Slightly over pitch, puff of dust, clears that front leg out the way, smashes it down the ground. Yeah! That's out, given out by umpire Rod Tucker. Okay, yeah, I can't tell if there's bat there. I'm going to need uh, Ultra Edge, please, when it's ready. I think we'd also have to assess where, the, where it makes first contact if there's no Ultra Edge involved. Does it hit the toe first or go into the back leg? Okay. Okay, nice and slow. Yeah, just take me back, please. Let me start that again because I've got the box, box where the ball is. Okay. Okay. Half a front, go back. That's perfect. Start from there. Yeah, thank you. All right, I've got a flat line. Ball coming in. Ball's under the bat. Yep. So this, keep it going through. I want to see the glove. 
Yep, that's fine. So it's clearly hitting the pad. No bat involved. Ready for ball tracking. Okay, I've got impact in line, pitching in line. Hey. I've got three reds. Going back on field to you. Rod, I've got three reds, mate. Change your decision. I went for three or four deliveries. And the decision is retained. Chamsey has his first wicket of the innings. And Arath has to be on his way. Trying to execute that sweep shot. Missed it. Just pitched in line. Hit him on the back leg. No doubt about it going on to crash on to off stump. And South Africa have their ninth wicket. It's been a good effort from them this morning. Picked up wickets at regular intervals. Gone for the big shot and he'll clear mid on. Four runs. All valuable, these. A yeah, nice strike. He's going to take a few risks for the captain. And it's always risky to go across the line against a left arm spinner as a right handed batsman, particularly when he's pitching it in some rough areas and the ball is turning. And he plays that beautifully right off the middle of the bat. Good shot again. Oh, beautifully done. Four runs. Saw one earlier on in his innings. Lakmar played very similar kind of shot straight down the ground. And he's severe or anything that's over pitched. He's just waiting for something that's full and he can play with a bit of authority. It does purchase in the surface. But because he's cleared that front foot, he's able to adjust. And the contact's good enough. The man at mid off is up in the circle. Oh, he's gone the gap. More runs, useful runs. Dale Stan will give up the chase. Not a lot of weight, but Suranga Lakmal promoted himself above Ranga Neherat. And he's gone on to 28, the captain taking the responsibility. Very different surface to this one. That's beautifully played. Through extra cover. Boundary for Lakmal again. He's batting beautifully. Can play shots like that. Nothing wrong with the surface. Lakmal into the 30s. He's batted 82 balls, in fact. He was part of that nine wicket partnership pitch. Revived the Sri Lankans in the first innings. 48 run partnership with Karna Ratna. He's edged that through. There's no one in the deep. So the lead goes past 350. It's at 351. Yeah, just to finish up on that test match, Sri Lanka needed 352 to win. That's exactly where they are here today. Needed Lasit Malinga to hit the winning run at number 11. Got him. 421 test wickets to Dale Stain. Sri Lanka wrapped up. It's helped it on its way. Babuma at point. Making no mistake. So done and dusted this uh, Sri Lankan second innings. All out for 190. But the lead is a sizable one. 352 in front. South Africa have a real tough job to do. That's Timba Babuma making a very simple catch. Gone. Down the wicket and walk past it. And Sri Lanka have their first. Only one way to go back to the pavilion. Wasn't even tossed up, and this is what I mentioned earlier to you, Omi. Trust your defense. Wait for your moment and opportunities. There's no opportunity there. You block a couple, you run at the other. You're only bringing the bowler into the game. Disappointing from Elga. Gone. Gone. Is Nick that? Dilron Pereira with another. Dananjay Disselbach doing really well at leg slip. 
Hashim Amla walks, caught back pad for the second time in the test match. But I suggest he goes, takes a slow walk just to have a look at that front foot. Brilliant, just outside the line of off stump. Lobbed onto the leg side. Even if Pommy wheels it over, doesn't go over that time. Oh, that's a big blow for the South Africans. Hashim Amla, the most experienced batsman, is on the way back. And he fails to score. It's 16 for two. Gone. A sharp catch at leg slip. Had so well taken that. And there goes another. Babuma is the man to follow Amla. And all three to Dilruan Pereira. Straight off the bat, straight down. But I, I believe Dananjay De Silva standing closer than he did in that first innings. Reacted well. Been operating from just outside off stump. And that's working. Bringing it back into the right-handers. Ten Babauma, gone for two, 24 for three. Oh, that's taken. That is taken. Fuck to play C. 421 wickets to Rangan Herat. And that was deceived in the flight. And he pushed rather tentatively. And a simple catch. Yeah, Fuck to play C is a little bit perplexed. He can't really understand. He think he played a nasty forward defensive shot the ball pitches takes the edge carries comfortably to Matthews that slip that's nicely played there's a man back there but this is what you've come to expect from Quinton de Kock doesn't really matter about the situation he likes to play his shots he likes to be aggressive and positive and it looks like he's going to continue in that vein and this is the first boundary of the innings Oh, that's gone. That's gone. What's happening here? That is a very, very timid way of getting out, if that's the right word. Nothing, nothing shot at all. Rangan Herat is now 422 wickets. Yeah, I think Mark will be disappointed with this. He didn't get me in the first innings. He's got himself in in the second time round. He tried to hit one over extra cover early on in the piece, but there's no rush. Now he's looking to be positive, trying to change up his game plan, but he wasn't anywhere near that one. Went through with the shot, beats the outside edge. And as you mentioned, Hareth goes to 4-2-2. He's in the top 10 on his own. The sweep goes. Sandagan throwing himself to his right. But uh, De Kock... In fact, it's not Sandakan, it's Rangan Herat. I beg your pardon. I think this goes to his right hand, which is the hand that he damaged the webbing as well. So he might have put it out, hoping that it didn't hit. But it's uh, an example again of Quinton de Kock looking to be positive. No surprises there. That was drifting. He's referred it. Okay, ball goes through, ball's under the bat, flat line. Yep, I'm happy there's no bat, ready for ball tracking. Yeah, as I said, they're, they're probably going with the catchphrase of looking to be positive, but you'd want to see some more application. Quinton de Kock sent it upstairs immediately, almost like he was convinced it either got an edge or it was sliding down, but not to be hit in line and crashing into the middle stump. That's four. He's not going to hang around there. That's Maharaj. Yeah, he's a man down the order. He's coming at number eight. You can expect this from Mrs. Way. He likes to play. Technically wise, he probably wouldn't back himself to be able to defend for a long period of time. So if he does get something in the area, he will go hard at it. Swift shot is very, very effective. It's got him a boundary. Man got South Africa to 52 for six. Two legs. 
got for the big shot and got a hold of it. And he goes all the way for six. This one was full. Gave Vernon Philander some width. And he hit this beautifully. Good use of the feet. Straight through the line. The weight transfer through the shot was perfect. Shouts of catch up. There's a man there. There's a man there. And he takes the catch too. So well done. Sandakan with good judgment. And it's five wickets for Dil Juan Pereira. Now the fourth time of asking. He has gone one better. Four in the first innings, four in the game before here against South Africa. In both innings, this time five. Bowl him. Smart that. Is that a couple that have turned and turned away? And he's decided he'll bowl the one that goes on with the arm and he's got it spot on. Was well, good bowling. It was an old fashioned arm ball. As Bommy and Bungwa said, the, the previous deliveries turned away. This one just goes on with the arm. Comes back into off stump. Rabada should have been forward there anyway because it was a foolish delivery, but he was deceived completely by that arm ball. The drift is the thing that got him. So he goes for naught. South Africa, what can we say? 58 fight. Shot. Good strike. He generally hits it well. Fern and Philander. Second six is it. Get the right delivery. Tossed up. Outside off stump. Gave him leverage that he needed. And they're right. There goes another. Ranga Nahirat. Gets Dale Stane and he gets a third wicket. Just one to go. The woes continue. Dale Stane hit that in the middle of the bat, but uh, just didn't keep it down. He played the shot too early, got out in front of himself. Good return catch by Herath. So Dale Stane, he's gone for two. South Af Africa 67 for nine. Front. Rifle unmoved. They got the one review up. And they take it. Is this the final rats for South Africa? Okay. Yep. Doesn't look like any bat. I'll confirm that with Ultra Ridge when it's ready. Okay, ball's going through. Ball's gone. Pass, keep playing through, yet pass the bat. Yep, definitely no bat involved. It's ball tracking when it's ready, please. No bat. Unless it's nicking that front pad, I, I think it's going to be umpire's call on impact. Yeah, that'll be the key. Where's the impact? The front pad or the back pad? I don't think they'll lose their review. Okay, ball going in. I've got pitching in line, impact in line, and hitting. Paul Three coming reds. back to you on field. The review sees Sri Lanka home. Santa Kane change your decision in out. the wickets Thank column. You. Paul Rifle confirms that. The decision is overturned and Sri Lanka dominant all round with back end ball and have made easy work of South Africa. Yeah, very good performance from Sri Lanka. 